Firewalla analyzes your network traffic and arrays alarms to notify you about things like a new device connecting to the network, a device leaving or returning your network, suspicious cyber attack, abnormal uploading data, certain user activities, and anything else that may need attention. Some alarms warn you about potential risks, while others just informational. With each alarm, you will be given options to handle them. You are not required to handle every alarm that is raised. It's okay to ignore it by doing nothing. But when you do handle it, make sure you know what you're doing. This tutorial will cover some of the basics. Now, let's walk you through different types of alarms and show you how to handle them. As soon as Firewalla is installed, you will receive a new device alarm. This type of alarm tells you that a device is connecting to your network. If you trust the device, you can either ignore the alarm or tap on the archive button to remove it from the alarm list. If you are not sure what this new device is and want to block it, two things will happen. First, a new blocking rule will be created. Firewalla will block this device from accessing the internet. If you notice the blocking is causing issues, you can always recover it by pausing or deleting the rule. Second, this alarm will be moved to the archive alarm list, and you will be given options to undo the blocking. Firewalla can also inform you when a device goes online or offline from your network, such as if your kids come back from school and connect their iPad to the home network, you will get notified immediately. This type of alarm is informational. You can ignore it or tap on the archive button to remove it from the active alarm list. This alarm can be turned on or off from each device's detail page. Please note, whether archive or not, all alarms will be automatically deleted in 30 days. If you don't want to wait for that long, just tap on the three dots icon on the alarm and then delete it permanently. Let's take a look at the activity alarm. Firewalla is able to classify network activities by types. By default, it generates alarms if someone in your network is playing games, watching videos, or visiting porn sites. In this example, we get an alarm when Melvin watches an online video in the office. If we are okay with this user's behavior, we can just mute it and suppress similar alarms being raised in the future. You can choose to mute by an IP address, a site, or a domain. Here, we choose to mute by the domain. Similar as block action, mute will archive this alarm and go through alarm list, archive all alarms share the same domain. Unlike block action, mute will create a new alarm setting. What's alarm setting? Alarm setting is where you tell the box what types of activity will generate alarms and whether a notification should be sent out or not. By default, alarm setting is configured to send both alarm and a notification on all activity types. You can customize the setting per activity type. These options are applied on all devices. But the first two options allow you to create exception on a specific device to stop generating alarm. This is the setting we just created. Now, we have covered the basics. Let's take a look at some security-related alarms. Fawala utilizes deep inside network flows and its unique cloud-based behavior analytics engine actively monitor and detect suspicious activities. By default, Fawala has the active protect feature turned on. It automatically blocks access when an activity is determined to be dangerous. When such alarm is raised, it will also create a new blocking rule under the Active Protect Rule list. If you want to undo the blocking, just delete the rule from here. This type of alarm only has archive option because the system has taken action for you. When you open the alarm detail page, the security intelligence section shows you why the IP address is considered dangerous. You can tap on the link to learn more. Now, let's take a look at another alarm type called abnormal upload alarm. 
This type alarm tells you that the data transfer appears to be different from your typical network behavior. Fawala analyzes the behavior for a period of time, so even if the device has left the network after uploading, you will still receive abnormal upload alarm. Let's take a look on how to take care of these alarms. Step 1. Look at the timestamp of the alarm and record if it was triggered by known events, such as were you the one triggered the upload? Is the uploading data part of the device's normal behavior? Step 2. Check out alarm details. Look at the device and destination info and the amount of data transferred. If Google device is transferring to Google, then likely the transfer is legit. If the upload alarm is to a country of a questionable nature, you should investigate further. In this example, we have a Ring device made by Amazon installed in our office. Fawala detects the Ring has uploaded some data to a remote IP address and generated an abnormal uploading alarm. The alarm detail shows us the IP address is owned by Amazon, and we know it is normal behavior that this device uploads data to its manufacturer site. So we decide to mute this alarm. Meanwhile, we also noticed the Ring has been uploading data to a various list of IP address owned by Amazon. The destination IP address all fall into an IP range of 34.223.0.0. Instead of muting them one by one, we can mute by IP range. So we will delete the alarm setting created above and create a new setting to mute the IP range instead. To summarize, Fawala analyzes your network traffic, raises alarms to notify you about different things, but it doesn't require you to handle every alarm. Please take actions carefully where you find necessary. Whether archived or not, all alarm will be auto-deleted in 30 days after being generated. If you have any further questions, please write to us, help at fawala.com. Thanks for watching.